In this problem, we have two planar elements. One is the fault plane and the other one is the limestone bed. And at the intersection of these two planar features, we have hydrothermal alteration, which we are interested in, right? So we need to find the orientation of the ore chute, which is the intersection of these two planes. As you know, we have done similar problem, right? So um, on the stereo net, you plot two planes. Let's say this is the fault, and this one is the limestone. And intersection of these two, it's going to be the orientation of the ore chute. You can find out the uh, trend and plunge, and that's going to be the answer for part one. Um, here uh, we have a new term that we didn't talk about it yet. It's pitch. And indeed, uh, uh, we are going to uh, see what this is. There are two different ways that we can write down the attitude of the uh, ore chute. One is the independent trend and plunge. And the other one indeed is writing a pitch of the ore chute on the fault plane or limestone bed, right? So let's say this is the fault plane, all right? And we know that the ore chute, okay, it's going to be a kind of linear feature on that fault plane, right? So let's say this is the ore chute on the fault plane. And what we can do, we can either find the trend and plunge of this um, green line in space, or we can actually give an angle of this linear uh, feature with the strike of the uh, fault, right? Because we know strike and the dip of the fault. And if we give only one angle, let's say like 35 towards, let's say, west, for instance, right? Let's say this is west, east here, let's say is north. Um, if we give this information, like 35 west, that would be enough uh, for uh, finding out the orientation of this line in space if we have the strike and the dip of the fault, right? And this angle, actually it's called pitch. So we can have this angle on the fault plane or uh, limestone plane, right? Because this linear feature exists on both of these planes because this is the intersection of these two planes, right? So how we can find this angle on the stereo net? So let's say this is my uh, stereo net and this is the fault and this is the limestone. Here we have the intersection of these two and if I'm gonna uh, find the pitch of the or shoot on the fault plane, uh, I need to count this angle, okay? From here to here on the fault plane, okay? We need to, we need to know what angle is this. Uh, that's because, based on the definition, pitch is the angle of the trend of the or shoot, let's say, Okay, this is the trend of the ore chute, and this is the strike of the fault plane. And based on definition, the pitch is the angle between strike and the trend of the ore chute on the fault plane, right? This angle here, this is what I'm interested. Okay, let me show with this one with alpha. Okay. And if you want to know what angle is this, then you need to count from the intersection to the primitive circle, and that's going to be the pitch of the um, uh, of this ore shoot on the fault plane. For instance, let's say this angle is 35 degrees, right? So writing 35, it's not enough, and you need actually to say, okay, 35 is counted from southeast or south, right? So otherwise it's not going to be uh, useful. So you can you can count on the other end. You can count the other end, but normally we go with the smaller angle. So uh, the same thing for the limestone. 
So uh, let me remove these uh, lines here. So as you can guess, okay, the pitch of the ore shoot on the limestone, it's gonna be at this angle. Let me first I show the strike. This is the strike of the limestone, right? Let's say this is the center. This is the trend, right? You are interested to this angle. Let me, I call this one as a beta. And if you want to count that beta, so you need to uh, actually count from primitive circle, okay, from here to here, right? And let's say this is beta. Let's say this is, for example, it's about 20 degrees and you're counting from the east, right? Uh, we are going to do this example on the net for exact numbers. All right, the fourth strike is uh, north and is dipping towards east 70 degrees. So this is north south. This is the strike of the fault is dipping 70 degrees towards east. Right, so we count from the primitive circle to the center. 70 degrees and we uh, trace this great circle okay that's the strike of the fault and the limestone that i'm going to show with the with another color uh, has a strike of 325 so you count clockwise 270 280 290 300 310 320, 325, and is dipping towards southwest 25 degrees, okay, to that side. So I place this one along the north-south, and I'm gonna count 25 degrees from southwest. Uh, this is 20, this is 25, and I'm gonna trace the great circle for 25. All right, so um, here we have the intersection of the fault and the limestone. Um, that is the answer for uh, part one, orientation of the ore shoot, right? If I'm gonna write the uh, trend and plunge, um, you need a ruler. You place the ruler from the center uh, to the intersection and then you just sign on the primitive circle. That's gonna show you the trend, right? So the trend is 170, 72, 74, 175. This is trend and plunge. Uh, we're gonna count this angle. So I place that one along the uh, east-west line and it's 10, 20, I'm sorry, it's 10, 12, 14 degrees. Okay, 175 slash 14 is the answer for part one. So uh, part, uh, part B is asking about the pitch of the ore shoot on the plane of the fault. So um, let's, we distinguish which one is fault. The blue one is fault and the orange one is the limestone and we said that the pitch is the angle of the trend of the linear feature and the strike of the planar feature on the on that plane so if i count this angle all right from here let's say from here to here on the fault plane that's going to show me the pitch right so how i can count i i need to place this one the blue arc on the great circle which is right now it's on the great circle so you need to count this angle so it's 10 12 14 right this is 14 degrees but this one it's not enough right you need to mention the 14 degrees it's towards south or north right this one we are counting from the south it's 14 south so the tr uh, this is the answer for part two uh, what's the pitch of the ore shoot on the limestone bed 
uh, indeed you can count this angle from here to there right and this angle that's gonna be the pitch of the uh, of the ore shoot on the limestone so you can actually count the other angle it doesn't matter but you should mention in which uh, direction you are counting right so let's count this one I'm gonna place the arc uh, the orange uh, arc or the limestone along the grid circle and then count the angle along the uh, plane so that's 10 20 30 32 33 right so this one is 33 degrees and we are counting from the southeast direction, right? So um, I can either write 33 southeast or I can say 147, okay, um, northwest. All right, uh, we are done with problem 12.